Yo, what is up everybody? It's Jack here. I'm a Shopify developer here at Section Store. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add trust badges just like these ones anywhere on the product page in only a couple of minutes. Adding trust badges like this is a super popular request that I get as a Shopify developer because a lot of apps either want to charge monthly for this or make you use some slow page builder. So this video, I'm going to show you how you can add them to any theme, even the free ones, in only a couple of minutes with no app subscription or ongoing cost. To do this, I'm going to be using the Shopify app Section Store. Section Store is free to install, there's no subscription, and it's a component library of over 500 different Shopify theme sections that plug into any Shopify theme. Today I'm going to be using Trust Badges 7, and as the name implies, there's six other variants of the Trust Badges, so if you don't like the style of this one, there's definitely going to be one that you do like the style of. If I click into the section for some more information, you can see the section's a one-time charge of $9, but it's never occurring. So once you purchase the section, you own it forever, and you can use it as many times as you want and as many themes as you want. I'm going to go ahead and purchase the section that's going to show up over here under My Sections. As you can see, we've got Trust Badges 7, and I can hit Add to Theme and choose the theme that I want to install it on. Now the section's installed in the theme, head over to the theme editor, go to the product page, hit add section, search for trust badges 7 and add it just here like a regular Shopify section. At the top of the page here you can see one that I set up earlier. To customize the section we want to start by clicking on the overall section name. This is going to give us the overall section settings here on the right hand side. So starting at the top we have the position of the trust badges so we can position them above or below the buy buttons, above or below the product title, above or below the description or below the price. If you want to move this somewhere else on the page, there's this little snippet of code here between these two divs. What you can do is copy this, go over to the product information section, add a block, add a custom liquid block, paste the code into that custom liquid block, and then this becomes your positioning. So you could drag this below the buy buttons, below the description, etc. if you want more customization over the positioning. Once you've chosen your position for the trust badges, we can move down to the next settings. The next settings for this are the card settings. So these are the trust badges and how they show up. As you can see, we've got cards per row for both desktop and mobile, which is another great feature. You can completely customize the viewing experience depending on which the device the customer is viewing from. Right now, I only have two trust badges here, but if you wanted to add four, for example, and you wanted to show one in a row, two, or maybe you wanted to show all four in a row, you can customize this for desktop and mobile independently. Moving down, we have some styling options, so gap for desktop and mobile, and then some more here under card. We have padding, horizontal and mobile, so the padding on the sides of the truss badges, have this for vertical as well, and then roundness and border thickness, just more styling options. The next section is card content, so this is the alignment, whether you want the information to appear on the left of the card, in the centre or on the right hand side. Following that, we have the icons, you can change the size of the icon for both desktop and mobile again. Next we have the trust badge title, so you have the option to add a custom font, again change the size on desktop and mobile and update the line height. Following that we have card text, so the subtext or you know the description text on the card, again the same thing, custom font, sizes of desktop and mobile, line height, margin and other styling options. Next we have the card colours, so you have four options here to customise all the colours to get this matching for your brand or how you've designed it um, and just getting look, get it looking just right for your store. Next we have section colours, so this is the overall section colours. If you want to add a background you can add one here or just have it transparent so it takes the colour of the rest of your theme. You can add a gradient and a border if you wanted to. And then finally down the bottom we have the overall section settings for margin and padding. So this is the space on the outside of the section, between the section and the page, and then the inside, so how much padding you want on the inside of the truss badges. Once you've made those customizations, we can head back over here and start customizing the individual blocks. So each one of these blocks below the section name corresponds to one of the trust badges or one icon. At the moment, I've got two here, but if you want, you can hit add card and add more trust badges. To customize these, we click on the card name and we can customize them here on the right hand side. So we can have a custom icon. You can either select one from the ones provided, or if you want to have a custom one, you can upload your own image. You can use an emoji if you want to and put the icon in here. And then we have two fields, one for the title, so the biggest text on the trust badge, and then the text, so the text that shows below that. Following that, we just have some small styling options, so a background color, and then we have a link if you wanted to have customers click on the trust badge and be redirected somewhere else. You would repeat this process for as many trust badges as you have in this example too, so I would go through here again and re-customize this one for the second trust badge. Add more if you want, or hide them if you don't need them. Once you're happy with how it's looking, you can head up to the top right hand corner and click save. 
An important thing to note for these trust badges and other sections, as you probably know, the Shopify theme editor is a little bit glitchy, so they don't always show up here initially. A good option to check on this is just to go up and hit save and they should appear and you can always preview the website. And there you have it. That was just a quick tutorial on how you can add trust badges just like these ones to your Shopify theme in a couple of minutes. As you can see, they install in one click. They're liquid code, just like the rest of your theme, unlike a lot of page builders, so they're not going to slow down the website. And there's no ongoing maintenance or subscription costs. Once you have them, you own them forever, and you can use them as much as you like. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, keep an eye on both this channel and the app, because we release multiple new sections just like this every single week.